Ah, oh, hello there. I wanted to give you a little update on how I'm getting on with the Ulanzi G85 vlogging case. And I've been using it for most of my outdoor vlogging uh, clips and using this little mic with the so-called dead cat on it as the microphone. That's an edutage. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Microphone. But that's been my setup for the last couple of weeks. It's been great, really, because sometimes I've needed to add a light and this because this has got a cold shoe on the top of it and uh, and on the side of it, you can actually add a light and another microphone if you so choose. So you could add one like this, which would clip on the top of there. Now, I actually find that's quite <laughs> that's quite obtrusive and people would really notice you come in with that. So. I've tended to do it a little bit more like that and uh, it's a little bit in your face a little bit less in your face I'm not sure to be perfectly honest if I actually need an external mic with the GoPro 8 the sound on the GoPro 8 has been much better than the Hero 7 I've been able to use it on its own and it's been really good just using the Hero 8 on its own probably indoors where I don't need to use a wind muff because of wind noise I uh, wanted to say something about the weights here. I actually put this on the bathroom scale. No, the kitchen scales. I didn't put it on the bathroom scales. That would be silly, wouldn't it? I put it on the kitchen scales. And as it stands at the moment with, um, with the case on it, the Hero 8 inside, the mic adapter, that's 300, uh, 300 grams. If I add the little extension piece, uh, which is supposed to raise up you're supposed to raise up this microphone a bit so it doesn't get in the lens that's 310 grams so that's quite a lot of weight to be carrying around by comparison the whole the old Lanzi case uh, that was for the Hero 7 um, the mic adapter in there and the case and the Hero 7 in there the Hero 7 and the Hero 8 incidentally weigh about the same uh, that's 190 kilograms. So 190 kilograms against 300 kilograms. It's quite a difference. Particularly when you put it on the little GoPro shorty uh, thing. It makes it feel a little bit overbalanced like that. And uh, it's sometimes better if you can actually extend it on the pole like that. That gives it a bit more of a balance. But it's still quite a, a weighty sort of thing. Um, pros and cons. Well, start with the pros. It's a good, strong case. It provides lots of protection for the GoPro in there. Um, it gives you the ability to add filter on there. You've got a filter ring there, so you can screw on ND filters and polarizer filters and that sort of thing, which is really handy. It's got two cold shoes, so one there, one there. And one on the top, so microphone and, uh, and one of these things. Um, sorry, a microphone and a light. I have been using this with a little Ulanzi light uh, when I was going round Caffili Castle, and that worked quite well. Often you need a light just to sort of illuminate the darkness in uh, places like castles, and sometimes when I'm filming motorhomes as well, uh, particularly where they've not got the lights on. So that's been really good. Other advantage is it's cheaper than the GoPro's media mod, which is coming out soon. Especially if you've already got this mic adapter, perhaps from a previous GoPro. And uh, you'll certainly be saving a lot of money. I believe that the media mod is about £79. That comes with a mic adapter and a mic, a, a directional mic. I'll put I'll put a picture up here somewhere about there of that so you can see that but this this arrangement is about I think it's 28 29 dollars uh, there are some links down below uh, so you can have a look yourself I'm just going off the top of my head here so but this is an awful lot cheaper than the GoPro's um, case the cons of it like I said is the weight uh, it does feel a bit top heavy 
and also this mic adapter ten, it, because it's not actually if you can see that it's not actually fixed in there it slides about and sometimes I've found that the mic adapter hang, hanging out like that but uh, uh, in conclusion it's a good alternative to it's a good alternative to the GoPro media mod if you don't mind the weight and you need to use lights and external microphones or filters uh, in fact any other sort of accessories that you could add on to that another thing Yulanzi did send me which I have used a lot of is this and it's a case that wraps around the GoPro itself so I can put that in like that fold it round and you can zip it up obviously you can't do any filming with it but it's a nice uh, cover and protection for your GoPro so you can stick that in your in your bag in your pocket on the dashboard and all you need to do to get the GoPro out is unzip it and you're ready to go and that's been really good that's well worth it a few quid gives you some extra protection for your GoPro Yulanzi also sent me this little not too close there this little replacement door for the GoPro the GoPro normally has its own door already so why do I need another door and that fits on there and closes up and the GoPro is with it with the door closed nothing else on it is waterproof to 30 meters I think it is if you take that door off and you want to access the USB port on there which is at the bottom or take the battery out it's no longer waterproof uh, so it does mean you're having to take the door off all the time to get to the USB-C port so they sent this little replacement door and that just clips on there and what that does is it, uh, it seals the battery in, it holds the battery in but it still provides access to the USB-C port so it does mean that you, ca you could, so you can charge the GoPro without exposing the battery there so that's quite a good idea it does mean that it's not waterproof but it certainly keeps the dust and the dirt out so that's quite a nice little neat addition I understand that some people have little selfie sticks that are charging handles as well so it would allow you to use the GoPro on its own but with the charging handle plugged in perhaps if you're doing time lapse or something along that lines that would be quite good yeah so to release the door there's a little arrow thing there you get your fingernail in there push it down and it comes away like that yeah with the door back on there now I must confess I haven't used that that door mainly because I've been using the case and that allows you to plug in external mics into the USB-C port anyway so that's it for this little update hope you enjoyed it um, if you've got any questions uh, please leave them in the comments below down, down there somewhere I'll be happy to try and answer them I might not be able to answer all of them but uh, I will give it a go and uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit the notifications icon because that all helps my channel and uh, I'll catch up with you soon.